Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Jordan, and it's the start of a new year, so I thought it'd be an awesome time to look back at 2015 and check out some of the drawings that I've done and hopefully see the improvement because I did a stack of drawings last year. It feels weird saying that. <laughs> and I thought it'd be a good time to show you guys all of them. I've got a stack of them over here, so I'm going to chuck them down on the table. Alright, let's jump in and take a look at some of my work. Keep in mind, this isn't all my drawings from last year. There's a bunch of stuff which I've done which I just didn't put in the video. So that was my Vampire Night drawing, which I started ages ago and it just took me a really long time to finish it. Here's moving on to my Copic Art Drawing series. And this is where I think my drawings started to get a lot better. I started focusing more on anime style drawing again and you'll see quite a big improvement I think from these early drawings. Here's my Tokyo Ghoul drawing and it's still probably one of my most popular videos I've done. It gets lots of views even now, it's probably my top viewed video. And you kind of see my styles developing, I've found my white gel pen and with each drawing I think my highlights get more and more crazy. <laughs> I just want to quickly say that I'm trying out my new microphone, so if my voice sounds weird, that's why. So here's my Sinon drawing. This one took a really long time, just because there's so many little details and the shading in it. There's quite a bit in this drawing. I think I could have done the hair better, but I'm still pretty happy with it. My bleach drawing. I really like this one. I just like the style of the shading with the extreme shading. And you'll see the next drawing here, I use the same kind of style. and. I think it's just got a really cool look, so it was a lot of fun doing this. It's quite simple, and yeah, it was lots of fun. Here's my Zero drawing from Vampire Night, and the line work for this took a really long time. Just lots of lines in the hair, but it was a really fun drawing. I'm a big fan of Matsuri Hino's art, which I always say, so I liked how that one turned out. I've got a drawing of Goku. Again, it's got a cool style of the shading, it's kind of got like a cell shaded look almost. Here's my <laughs> Naruto's Sexiest Jutsu. This one was kind of just more fun, just messing around a little bit. Nothing too extreme there. I like the blood in the background. I really like drawing blood, and I guess you kind of see that show up in a bunch of my drawings. Here's a drawing of Chi from Chobits. And I tried to do some really soft line work for this, which is a little bit different from what I normally do, and I think it worked pretty well with that. Drawing from Free. I mainly like the kind of transparency of his shirt. It just looks like he's wet, so I thought that kind of looked cool. My drawing of Shin are... I've got mixed feelings about this one. I think overall it's pretty good, but there's some parts which I struggled with a little bit. This one, I like the glowing effects you kind of see in the background, which was kind of created by my white gel pen and using some light blues and light purples, and I thought it turned out pretty cool. My Evangelion drawing. I like this one as well, I like the shading in his plug suit. This one, I just really like the highlights in the hair. They're really prominent and it gives it like a 3D effect, and I think it worked really well for some reason in that drawing. Here's another Tokyo Ghoul drawing. I really liked this one as well, of Toka. Just the blues and a little bit of pink in there as well. I think gave it a really nice look. Here's an Asuna drawing, and I had some troubles with this. Anyone who watched the video will know I had a little bit of a spill there. <laughs> but I managed to cover it up, so it's all good in the end. But there was definitely some rough roads with that one. Here's my three marker challenge drawing and it was a pretty tough challenge. I don't think I really want to do it again, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out considering it's always hard doing a drawing when you're limited to three colors because you're like, well, I could make it so much better if I use some other colors. So that was definitely a challenge. And here's my Levi drawing, which was pretty much the last drawing of 2015 that I did. I know I released the video a little bit later, obviously, in 2016, but I think that turned out really nice. And you can just see the improvement throughout the year. I thought I'd show you guys some other drawings I've done. These were kind of towards the start of the year, so I've got some realistic stuff like the James Bond picture and the eyeballs. I did a bunch of other realism drawings, which I didn't show you guys. Maybe I'll put them in a quick slideshow at the end of this video so you can check them out if you're interested. 
And now I'm going to show you guys some of my creepy pasta drawings. These are more sketchy, I just did them really quick. So anyone who doesn't know about my creepy pasta videos, I basically read creepy stories and then do a drawing from the story. So they were pretty fun to do. Some people really liked them, but I understand it's not everyone's cup of tea. So those videos weren't quite as popular as my other Copic art videos. But I'm thinking of occasionally making some new ones because I know there's some people who really enjoyed those videos and they're pretty different from a lot of the other videos out there. So there are plans to do more of them. I've just been really busy, like I've been on holidays lately, so I thought I'd have time to, you know, get a bunch of videos out and hopefully do a creepypasta one. But I've just been really busy with making videos and editing and drawings and stuff like that. So more stuff is coming, but it's going to take a little bit longer. So if you like the creepypasta videos, stick around for that. They are going to come, at least a couple more new ones. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed my drawings from last year. I think 2016 is going to be an awesome year. My channel's grown so much since the start of last year, I guess. It's been pretty crazy, so the amount of support that I get from you guys really means a great deal to me. It just motivates me to keep drawing, and it's just awesome hearing back from you guys in the comments saying that I can help motivate you as well. I know I can't always reply to everyone because I'm just getting stacks of comments now. I try my best to reply to most of the stuff, but I read everything and I really appreciate it, even if I don't manage to get back to you. So I just want to say thank you guys for an awesome year and lots more drawings are coming. So I guess I'll catch you guys next week in next week's drawing video.